Hi, I'm It's Fit Maddie Wilson. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the top 10 ways to stay healthy and mentally strong while being an ally. Over the past week, I have been doing my research. If you missed last week's video, I let you know that I didn't know what to do for the Black Lives Matter movement. I didn't know where to start and I just did it. I educated myself, I found resources, I fact checked, I did all that stuff. But in that time, I didn't take care of myself and I'm a firm believer the more that you take care of yourself, the more centered you are, the more you can give. That's the same with love. The more love that you have in yourself, the more you can give. You got to fill up your cup first before you can fill up anyone else's cup. With all that being said, I took a really big toll on my health and mental health last week and I crashed. I burned and I want to share with you how to keep going, how to keep fighting, how to be the best ally because again, it starts with in. Number one is writing out a meal plan. I know that may sound weird, but you need to have healthy foods in your body to make sure that you can be a good ally. If you're out protesting, if you're out talking to family, if you're making signs, like all of this, you need to have energy and you need to make sure that you're eating enough because for me, I don't know what happened last week, but one day I, I didn't eat and I, I hate to admit that, especially with my past with disordered eating and eating disorders. I didn't eat and I need to not do that to myself because that can lead into worse stuff and then I can't be a good ally. So making a meal plan and sticking to your meal plan, please. And number two goes along with number one, which is setting reminders to eat. I know it sounds silly, but if you have a meal plan and you made your meal food, made your meal food, if you meal prepped, then you know that doesn't mean that you're going to eat it. So you need to have reminders on your phone. Super simple. Have a re reminder for breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, other snack, whatever, however you eat. Just make sure you remind yourself to actually consume the food. That can also help with overeating if, say, if you are an emotional eater, all of this trauma is coming up, you're dealing with this, you're trying to talk to family, all of this is coming up and you just eat a lot, this will also keep you on track to try to get back on track. Does that make sense? Number three on the topic of food is water consumption. Make sure you track your water right now. That day that I didn't eat, I didn't even drink any water. I had all caffeine, I had a lot of coffee, and right now I'm sipping on some tea, which I need to drink with the caffeine. You need to make sure that you have water too. So track your water. Hey, try to go for a gallon a day. If that's way too high of a goal, just try to go for half a gallon. Set little goals. Make sure you're drinking water, especially if you're out walking around protesting. And number four is calling an ally, calling another person that you can share positive news with. So my sister Lauren is such a big advocate and an ally and supports the Black Lives Matter movement so, so much that I like to call her and tell her my stories that I have with her. So like I talked to a family member and I told them about you know, why Black Lives Matter and they understood it and sharing the positive like wins in this can really like with another ally can really like feed that energy to make sure that we all stay positive during this movement and keep on going. Number five is setting time to work out. When I work out, I feel my best. I do my best. I think my best. So really creating that time to work out. Last week, I worked out once. And I felt horrible the whole entire week. And when I worked out, I like forced myself to do it and I was just in a bad mindset. And so if I schedule stuff, I'm more likely to do it. And I know working out makes me feel my best. So I want to get back into that routine and I promise you it helps so much. Number six is taking deep breaths before having those hard conversations. So if you know someone in your family that says racist comments that you know, maybe only watches the news, that they only get their information from the news, which we all know the news doesn't share everything and there's more to the story. Make sure that you take deep breaths before talking to them. We really need to focus on centering ourselves and staying relaxed during these conversations because it's so easy to get angry and get mad. There's every right for everyone to get angry and get mad, but to make a change is really to be calm and 
express yourself clearly. Being able to speak clearly and get your point across can really, really make a difference with being anti-racist. Number seven might be a little bit too far out for some people, but I have to say it because this is something that helps me a lot is sitting with love. I like to picture green. Green is your heart chakra and I like to sit and think about spreading love within my body, within my house, within my neighborhood, within the state, in whole worlds. I like to try to picture green energy, love, light everywhere. And that just helps me Again, with the more love that I feel, the more love I can give out. And so sitting with that love feeling and remembering that we are just humans trying to get basic human rights. Like we need to all be treated with respect and really just sit again with that love. Number eight, I want to talk about protesting. So being healthy during a protest, what does that look like? Making sure that you have water, making sure that if you want to protect yourself during all of this is having a face mask, making sure that you have hand sanitizer with you, making sure that you write a phone number down on your arm so in case something happens, you have someone to call. Being really, really healthy in all of these ways, like with snacks and everything, really think before you go out and protest. I unfortunately can't go out and protest right now. I'll get into it in the next couple steps. Please remember to take care of yourself while protesting. People have been getting heat stroke. People have been not being able to share this message freely and openly because they're not taking care of themselves. Number nine is create with purpose. So instead of just sharing stuff on Instagram, not having conversations, doing this and this, creating something makes you feel really good and it can also help change everything. Like my YouTube video last week, card up above and link down below, that YouTube video had a purpose. I created it to spread awareness, of course, but the ad revenue, all of the money that I made in that video will be donated to Black Lives Matter. So create stuff. Again, like I said, I'm not able to go to protests because my grandma is going to be having a surgery here next week and I'm going to be taking care of her during her recovery. So I am protecting myself so I don't get sick, so I don't get grandma sick. So with that, I'm going to be creating signs. I'm going to spend all day tomorrow. I'm so excited to make as many signs as I possibly can. I have a lot of boxes in my garage from Amazon and I'm going to create as many signs as I can and then go on Facebook and you can search Black Lives Matter Seattle, Black Lives Matter, like wherever you are, there's groups that have where peaceful protests are happening. So with that, I'm going to create the signs, go on that group, see where everyone's at, and then just go dump off signs with water bottles and snacks, and you can help and create with purpose that way. So again, paint something, create art. If you're a graphic designer, create art in Photoshop, Canva, whatever you use, Create something beautiful in this time with purpose. And number 10, not everyone will agree with this, but please hear me out. Get off of social media for a little bit. And that is not to be like, oh, I don't want to see the drama and the hate and this and that. Get off of social media so you can recharge yourself. And a lot of these things that I said to do, working out, making a meal plan, that is getting off of social media and recharging yourself. But if you get stuck in this negative rut of negativity, you need to get out of it. There's things that you can do, like creating with purpose, that is still helpful and is off of social media. Everyone has their own path. You can be talking to family members, sharing on social media, doing X, Y, Z. There's so many different things that allies can be doing and you don't have to be doing all of them at once. So protect your energy. Remember, fill yourself up with love so you can give it out. You just have to make sure that you are well and healthy so you can keep on fighting. I hope that makes sense. And I do wanna know down in the comments below, what are you doing to stay healthy while being an ally? What are you doing to protect yourself, but also share and spread love? Let me know down in the comments below if I missed anything. Check me out over on Instagram. Check out last week's video. Again, I will link it down below. All the money to that video will be going to Black Lives Matter. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Subscribe, hit that bell notification, all of those things. I hope you guys are doing well. Take care of yourself so you can take care of others. Anyways, I will see you next week at three o'clock.
Bye.